Yui Soeda. I'm 25 years old. I work full time. I like to cook. It was like a hobby of mine. I really enjoyed it. I didn't upload them online or anything. I wasn't that good, so... Sometimes I cooked dinner for my boyfriend, Takayuki. But that was about it. We started living together a few years ago. Takayuki, what do you want for dinner tomorrow? Uh, fries from McDonald's. Uh, I don't think I can. I can try, but... Huh? Sometimes, Takayuki made these ridiculous demands. Why not? It's just potatoes, right? Yeah, but I don't have the same kind of equipment as they do. I told you this before. Stop making excuses. You're a woman. You're supposed to know how to cook. Uh... He knew nothing about cooking. He thought all he needed to know was the ingredients. The other day, he told me to make him coke from scratch. And he always ridiculed me when I told him I couldn't. Sometimes I tried to make these things to shut him up, but... Ugh, gross! This tastes horrible! He was always complaining. But I looked up the recipe online and... You gotta step it up. You've been slacking. Maybe you skipped a few steps to cut corners. What? No! I was doing my best, but it just wasn't good enough for him. But then, he ate it all anyways, leaving none for me. Other than this, he was a good person, but... A few days later, I was talking to Kaede, a friend of mine from cooking school. He said that to you? Unbelievable. Yeah, he just doesn't get it. That ramen you made the other day? That was really good. Oh, that. Yeah, I made him for it too, but he hated it. Why don't you just break up with him already? Hmm... You're wasting your time with him. Maybe she's right. Maybe I should dump him and get it over with. That night, I tried out this new recipe I learned at cooking school. Huh? What about the fries? Huh? You were serious about that? Yeah, it's just potatoes. How hard can it be? Fine, I'll go buy some then. Stop trying to cut corners! I'm not. I told you I can't make that at home. We've been through this. Stop making excuses. Tomorrow, I want KFC, okay? This is your last chance. Got it? Huh? There was just no talking to him. Why not just go out and eat then? I was through with him. It was time to put an end to this once and for all. The next day, I bought the ingredients I needed to make fried chicken. I'll just make some normal fried chicken. It was impossible to make KFC quality fried chicken at home, so I didn't even bother to try. I just made some normal fried chicken and set it out on the table. Eat up! Alright, let's see how you did. Ugh, just shut up and eat. What?! Screw you! I'll break up with you! You want that? Fine. Huh? He didn't see that coming. Did he really think I'd be like, Oh no, please don't leave me! Let me ask you something. Can you build a house? Huh? Uh, no. What about a microwave? What? No! Why not? You know what they're made of, right? How hard could it be? Shut up! But that's what you always say to me. It's the same logic. Come on, build me a new home. That shut him up. It, it's not the same. How so? You're a guy, right? I'm sure you've got it in you. What? That doesn't even make sense. You said the same thing to me, remember? And another thing. If you've got a problem with my cooking, do it yourself. We both worked full-time, but he never did anything around the house. Cooking, cleaning, laundry... I had to do everything around here. But that's your job! You're a woman! Seriously? You're joking me, right? We both work full-time. You're unbelievable. You're such an idiot. But... I... Just go! Get the hell out of here! Then I kicked him out of the house. The apartment was under my name anyway. That night, he stayed at a friend's house. I was done with him. The next morning, the doorbell rang. It was him. Please open the door. 
I thought you were staying with your friend. I'm sorry. I was wrong. He came back from his friend's house. Yui won't stop nagging at me. She doesn't want to do things around the house anymore. Oh. She's a woman, though. That's her job, you know? Wait. She works full-time, too, right? Yeah, but so what? I'm a dude. Housework isn't my responsibility. Oh, and she can't even make fries. You know, like the ones at McDonald's? How hard can it be? Fries? She can't even make Coke. The ingredients are written on the can. She's such an idiot. What are you saying? Huh? His friend was stunned. He said to him, Look, uh, if you both work full time, then you gotta do things around the house, too. And fries from McDonald's? Coke? What's wrong with you? You can't make those at home. He stayed up all night explaining to him how wrong he was. But I wasn't ready to forgive him. So, you realized you were wrong. Good for you. Well, I'll leave your stuff outside. Bye! What? No! You said it was over. You're joking, right? I wasn't. I was through with him. People like him don't change. I started throwing his stuff out the window. Hold on! Please! Build me a new home and I'll forgive you. Otherwise, get out. A few minutes later, he finally gave up and walked out. That felt good. I should have done this a long time ago. After that, his friends found out about what happened. What an idiot. Get with the times. He's so stupid. Things weren't looking good for him. Why did he assume that all women can cook in the first place? He started going around talking to my friends trying to get back with me, but... No way. Not in a million years. It was so good to have him out of my life. Good for you. I was worried about you. Yeah, thanks for the advice. I'm gonna take a break from guys for a while, and I'm gonna focus on cooking. Yeah, sounds good. A few years later, I met my husband at the cooking school, but... Well, we'll save that one for a future video. button. Bye!